Studios here and welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna do my haul or loot for Briarfest 2019, which was super fun and I enjoyed it a lot. So first we have Oliver, the celebration horse, who I actually got four of them and I sold one and I gave uh, one for customizing. And this one, th the last two I'm gonna, I'm just gonna s keep because my sister wants one and I'm keeping mine. Next we have Harrison who is a Cleveland Bay costume who is gorgeous. He was originally a bay but at last minute they decided to make him a roan. And quick disclaimer, not all of these horses are mine. I have some of my sisters in here. Like this one, which she found in the Clarion for an excellent price. Down here we have Geronimo, who was a pickup this year from somebody in Instagram. I'm gonna leave the link down below because I don't really remember her username. This one is also a pickup. He is the Matt 2000. 17 I believe special run. I decided to name him Kyuta who is from an anime series and he is gorgeous. I actually took him on a photo shoot today and he did great. Next we have Griffin who is also my sister's and she found in the Briar store on Saturday, I believe. Now we have my Eidicus for this year. I only got three, but I'm super happy I got them. This is Wapiti, who I decided to name Alec, like the character from Shadowhunters. This would be Phoenix, a custom who I got as a pickup from Briar Cantor, who you may also know as the girl who bought Otis, Blackmer Studios costume. And right here, a friend of mine who is also on Instagram named Indy. Um, I got him shipped out to his ha to her house, and she was very nice uh, to bring her him all the way to Briar. And down here we have another of my sister's ponies, Protocol. I have her um, her dogs, but I'm not really gonna show them right now. She is gorgeous. This halter was also been made by me. And she is beautiful. I did not expect her to be that detailed. Her shading is amazing. Right here we have one of the few Peter Stones I got this year. His name is gonna be Gunner. I got him for $30 in the Clarion, which was an awesome price for him. He is already a retired mold. So, he is a little old, but he is honestly gorgeous. Down here, I have the 2015 Quell Surprise. Who I also got as a pickup from Shamrock Studios, I believe, on Instagram. And this gorgeous girl is also a pickup. I will also link the her account in the description down below. And this beautiful girl is also my sister's. We got her in a trade with Blackmarsh Studios for a few special run tickets. She is honestly gorgeous. She is in perfect conditions. Right next to him, we have another one on the Disathal mold. Uh, this is Diablo DC, the store special for 2016. And this is my sister's Alejandro. He is gorgeous. I would love to get a horse customized on this mold because the mold is, is for, in my opinion, is very cute. But look at his face. And right next to him, we have another one of my sister's ponies. 
who is the 2019 Christmas horse minstrel which we also have his tack he is gorgeous and he kind of looks glossy to me but I don't I don't know I don't know if that's just me or he really does look glossy rare fest yeah, I mean, Minstrel 2019 Ryder. He is cute. He is the second one in our collection of this mold. Speaking of Black Mare Studios, I have another guy to show you who is this beautiful guy. We got from her. It was painted by her. He is absolutely stunning. His details are amazing. His dapples are incredible, and he's just overall unbelievable. His markings are super crisp, and his nip is gorgeous. Here we have Sifton Black Magic, who is also signed. The lady was super nice, and I told her I was from Costa Rica, and she was super interested because she lived there for a very long while and she really wanted to talk to me. I thought she was super nice and he is gorgeous. I did not expect so many details on him. I was just a little disappointed because Sift has so many so many details on his on his uh, like right here on his front like in the front of his face and the briar model did not really show that and he also has both eyes but he is overall gorgeous and these two howl and sipped we got on saturday and we made the line at 6 a.m uh, due to I, I had to do an, uh, several pickups so we got i got him he was honestly the most I don't know if it really shows on camera but his shading is so dark and he looks absolutely stunning in pictures I don't know if you can see that but his shading is amazing and right next to him we have this cute boy who's a costume in the Marwari mold which my friend Briar Crazy Life gave to me she is awesome I really, 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 really loved meeting her. And this little guy is also made by her. They are super cute, super adorable. And she gave me a couple others, which I will also show. You, show. But they are gorgeous. I still have to name him, name both of them. So if you have any name suggestions, please leave them down in the description, in the comments. Now we have Voyeur the 2019 regular runs who is gorgeous her eyes kind of scare me I know some people really like them but for me they're just a little bit scary I love the detailing and the shading I also like the hooves they put on her the shoes not the hooves <laughs> and next to him we have Kingsley the 2012, let me just check, it says right there on his belly, 2012. Uh, he is porcelain, and he is super cute. His uh, actual name is Killarney, but I decided to name him Kingsley. He has a super cute face. And next to him is the second Peter Stone I, I got, who is called Moonstruck. I got her, I mean him, in the Equilocity in the Fairfield. She was actually only $50, and this amazing halter, um, Luna Lover, gave it to me from a pickup, and I just really thought this fitted Moonstruck, so... Here she is with her The halter. next horses are really exciting for me because I got my first resins ever this year. So this is a Walter. 
He is super cute, super detailed. The only thing he has is that he has that little crack there. That's why he was $50. But I just need to get him repaired. Or uh, just be really, really careful with him. But I think I'd rather have him repaired. And he also has a blue eye. He is super gorgeous. I got him in the Clarion. Next to him is his brother, Series Black, who I actually got from the sculptor Shelly. He has some amazing dapples. Like, I have never seen any dapples like these. They are amazing. I got him in the Artisan's Gallery in the Clarion. He is gorgeous. And those two halters I got in at Briarfest on Saturday. Yes, this is another dappled gray. <laughs> this is my other resin, Leandro. He has him right in his belly. That is Leandro. I got him in a trade. He is super cute and he came with a stand, a wooden stand, which is super cute and I love his nip. Super de detailed horse. This right here is Ideal. He is super cute. I got him as a pickup. And I am super sad to say that he actually had an accident on the way here. His, his, his foot actually like flew off. I got him is stuck with some glue super glue but i'm really scared it won't stick so i need to find another solution for that but meanwhile he's gonna stay like this he's still gorgeous and i'm still keeping him but i really need to fix that he had a deep scratch when i bought him and the girl on instagram like showed it to me and she was super cl clear that she that he had a scratch but I did not know it was gonna come to this, but it's fine, I just have to fix it and repaint it. He's still beautiful. Now we have Flexible, who I decided to name Cedric Felix Deary. I got him from a friend on Instagram as a pickup. He comes with his stand. He is absolutely stunning. He is almost flawless. I made this halter for him and I just think his face is super super cute with the braided mane he's adorable and I love him so much Here he is and last but definitely not least is Lago who I decided to name Winter's Lake I really wanted this horse since like Black Mare Studios started him and I was actually gonna purchase him but a something with my dog a surgery and the money he needed so I had to give the money who I was gonna pay him with to to my for my doggy and I was blessed enough to get this boy from Blackmare Studios at Briarfest. He's absolutely stunning and I love him to death. You can see all of his details are just amazing. It's unbelievable how much detail she puts on the horses. And look at his eyes, super detailed as well. This was actually a test run. But, as you may know, I'm a sucker for dappled grays, <laughs> and this is Lago, so welcome to the family. Look at his hooves, they are super detailed, and he is also signed by Blackmore Studios right there. It says Alexa, and the dapples are just unbelievable. And I'm just really glad to have him here with me. 
And that would actually be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I also have my Instagram, which I will link down in the description below. This is where you can see my collection and all the pictures I take of them. If you have any questions about Briarfest or the Clarion Artisans Gallery or maybe even the NPod, you can leave them down below and I will gladly answer all of them. And once again, thank you for watching.